Well, folks, there is nothing better on a cold day than a good cup of hot chocolate. And for years and years, the only way you could get that is to make it homemade with a little bit of cocoa and some sugar and some salt. And then in the 70s, uh, instant hot chocolate came out. You could just get a little pack and add some hot water. Then they got fancy and they added some marshmallows. And that's pretty much the way we enjoyed hot chocolate and until recently when a new craze hit the area. And let me tell you, folks, it's a bomb. Hi. Welcome to Around the Town with Marilyn Forbes. Today we are going to be making chocolate, hot chocolate bombs, and they are awesome. They're easy to make and they're fun to make. And so if you folks want to sit back, relax, and enjoy the show, let's all get bombed. Well, folks, as promised, we are going to be making a special hot chocolate treat today. And we have with us Cheryl. Cheryl, welcome back. Hi, thanks. Cheryl's been on the show with us a couple times, if you folks remember. And she is going to show us how to make these delicious treats. But first of all, I have a treat for Cheryl. <laughs> and oh, I'll no. tell you, folks, she has not seen <laughs> oh, these. Oh, no, I have not seen these. So this is something special that my wonderful, beautiful daughter-in-law, Sarah, made for us. I can and only she... imagine. Let's get bombed. <laughs> Well, we could do this in more ways than one. <laughs> <laughs> so Cheryl and I are These going are to get bombed because are we are making Thank hot you. chocolate bombs. You're welcome. Thank you so much. I like it. Okay. I love it. All right. So first of all, tell us. Now, uh, these are a relatively newer um treat that's right. been introduced and right. tell us how did you find out about them and how did you get um, involved well it's just a big craze right now um i just started seeing them on whether it was facebook pinterest um uh, mostly pinterest um but it's just a big craze and i started having people saying hey like do you make those do you make those and i was like no but i guess i can so i had to order molds um the molds are literally nowhere to be found. <laughs> um, now you can probably get some that are a little bit bigger maybe. You can get molds, these are silicone. You can get silicone molds at Joann's, Michael's, Hobby Lobby, places like that, but I couldn't find the ones that were just the spheres. Okay. So I had to order mine off of Amazon. It took me a little over three weeks to get these from Amazon because they are in such high demand. You can get them in different sizes. The one I'm gonna use today is two inches wide and it's about seven eighths of an inch deep and you're gonna see the process of how we do this. It's okay. not that they're hard to make, they're just very time consuming. But before we get started, I'm gonna show you a little bit about um, what you need for the process. Um, first off, we're, the number one thing is our chocolate, okay? okay? We have different kind of chocolates that we use. Um, this is actually by, oh. these, these are Wilton candy melts. Um, they come in all different colors. Um, the thing about these is all the colors that they come in, they're all artificially flavored to vanilla though. Oh, um, okay. so, some of them do vary, like they, Wilton does carry a salted caramel. They might carry like a confetti one. Um, they are different, but read on them that it says vanilla flavored. You can still flavor these though. It's not hard to flavor them at all. Um, and I see you purchased these locally. Yes, I did. Okay. I purchased these locally. These come from, and I'm gonna, can I, can yeah, I say the name? Yeah, sure. I'm gonna, gonna give them a little plug. These actually come from Kreisinger's Market. Um, it's a very popular chocolate. It's called Merkins. It's my favorite chocolate. Um, it's not waxy. If you want a waxy, shinier look, you can put um, a wax into it. But I don't like the shiny, shiny look. I think they have a nice shine to their uh, own, but they don't taste waxy either. But it's my favorite chocolate is the Merkins. But you can also get it um, some different candy stores and stuff like that. But what I do want to say is a lot of people will take and melt down um, chocolate chips, and that's fine, but chocolate chips don't have the same melting consistency as a candy does, as a candy disc. As a candy So okay. now, today we're gonna be using the red ones. Um, these come in like 12 ounce bags, so you're not gonna get as many, of course, as you would out of a pound, but they have a different consistency when you melt them down too. They're a little bit thicker than this chocolate. Um, if you want any extra work time on your chocolate, that's where the oil comes okay. in. Okay, that's why I have oil sitting here. Um, you take oil, like in the end you'll see, we'll put some oil into our liquid, um, melted candy so that we can take and decorate because that way it'll run smoother okay. out of the tip because the tips are real, real fine. But um, different kind, you know, just, they come in the little ones if you just want some icing and, you know, just melt these down or whatever. I personally do not like to melt in a microwave. I melt mine in a double boiler. And I'm gonna do a real quick lesson right here to show that people often think that when they melt chocolate, they have to melt it so that the outside of it melts. Okay. Any chocolate, whether it's um, the, the chocolate chips or whether it's the candy discs, everything melts from the inside out. 
and I don't know if you can zoom in on this. Yes, we're using just typical old everyday kitchens, but see, they look like they're still solid, right? right? But watch. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Okay. <laughs> they're already melted. But now let me tell you another thing. So when you double boil, you have to make sure that this pot is not touching the bottom of the other pot because what will happen is your chocolate under here will actually get thick and then it won't want to melt. Okay. And, and what she's doing here, I want to point this out too, folks. This is cool. She's not actually using a true double boiler, so you don't no. have to go out and buy something. No. no. And I actually use, um, I have stainless steel mixing bowls mm -hmm. that fit right real nice right. on top of mine. That's my, my double boiler. Right. Mm -hmm. I, I have a, <clears throat> just a little stainless steel pot and often, this is what I do. <laughs> I, I put some icing in here just to show that mine fits perfect on my little pot. Okay. So I just put this oh, okay. on my pot to melt often too, you know, so right. you really don't need the double boiler. Of course, you just got to be careful there when you take it off the sure. water, you know, but this is, um, you know, this is the way I do it. And sometimes you might get like a little bit of lumps. Like I said, the color discs are a little bit different to work with. So sometimes you might have to add some oil into that. Okay. But when you add oil into it, you get more longer working time. But at the same time in these molds, because they're silicone, when you try pulling it up on the sides, it might want to run back down okay. with the oil in it. You know, it makes it just a little so bit thinner. So you want to not use oil if you can. Right. Okay. I, I mean, like, you can use <clears throat> oil because it gives you more working time. Like, oil's great. I think oil's great when you use, um, like, if you're going to be making candy candy, you know, because it gives you a okay. more, or if you're dipping something, then it gives you, you know, uh, just a, more of a working time. But um, this is just some of the stuff you need. Here's just some of the different... Um, Toppings that you can use, you know, um, of course, some ribbon to maybe wrap your bags. You can get the bags, um, any of your local little stores, whether it's Walmart or the craft stores or anything like that. Um, do the candy, you know, these little paper cups, you know, very simple. Um, well, that's how I really came know? up with the idea. This would be great for Valentine's Day or right. Mom's Day right. or something day. special. Right, you know, I but you can that. do them like this or you can just leave them outside of the bag and just, you know, put them in there. Yes, I don't have gloves on, but I mean... Yeah, that's okay. It's just all for show. So, you know, it makes a cute little gift like that. You know, when I sell them, um, I do them in boxes. So there's usually six to eight of them in a box. So they look real cute just like that. You know, if somebody wants to do them in their own home. And then, of course, your gloves. And then these are just towels for um, all the hot stuff that's going to go on. Um, I actually make my own chocolate, um, my chocolate mix. My chocolate mix is not Nestle's and um, as far as the white and the chocolate goes, I make my own, but I'm not giving up my recipe. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but the strawberry, I do use the good old Nesquik, right? Okay. Um, I just use regular Jet Puff, Puff marshmallows. What I like about these is that they actually have a little bit different size in them too. Like some of them are smaller, oh, so okay. they kind of work better. Um, I find that the off brands, like the store brand ones, like the Great Value or anything, they seem to be a bigger one, so you don't okay. get as many in it. And I like marshmallows in mine. So, but I guess for right now, what we're going to do is we're going to start just clearing off this table, so we can start and get our work area ready here. Okay. So you said that basically these are really easy. So this is something that that there again too. We always like to right. have things for families. Well, it's to do. It's, and it's easy do with to do. Kids. Just remember when you're doing it with your kids. Um, a lot of kids in the process are not going to be happy campers with <laughs> the time span just because of there's so many steps and it's not that it's hard what all am i am i taking these off as well um no, no we're going to use this size okay <laughs> i just had this one for just showing some okay. different sizes all right okay so we're just going to throw it back there my trusty little note okay <laughs> i'm ready do you want to use a glove or no uh, uh, my I mean, hands are clean okay my hands are clean too we, uh, and they're just, we, for, we they're just for us. That's right. They're just for us and just for show, right? Okay. So we're going to start out. Marilyn's going to get two, and I'm going to get two. Okay. And we're going to work out of the same pot. So no, no, you don't spray these with anything or put nope. anything? Okay. No, nope. right. you don't spray them with okay. anything. Don't do anything like that. So we're going to start right here. Now, I want you folks to know I have absolutely no idea. We did not rehearse this. We did not talk about this ahead of time. No. So. No. So. <laughs> We're gonna put this right here in front of everybody for them to see, and on that plate over there, off to your right, oh, are here? two spoons. Okay. Get the smaller spoons. We'll see. We'll actually use this plate. This one here. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. right. Here, here, wait. We'll do this one. We we'll use these two. These two seem to be a little bit better. Okay. So it's like and a teaspoon. Then, right. Just regular teaspoons. But now some people use. You can get all different kind of stuff. You can use the silicone. You know, okay. um, spoons, paddles, anything like that. You can use these. 
I personally don't like these. You can use pastry brushes. Pastry brushes are a little bit better. Maybe thicker, um, I think a little bit yeah, stiffer. But yeah, but I don't like it. But I just, I would rather do the good old fashioned, okay. you know, spoon, here we go. <laughs> so now I'm gonna show Marilyn how to do this and I probably should get that right out from in front. So everybody can see, you want a, a good teaspoon. Okay. Like that, all okay? Right. And all you're gonna do is put it in there. And this is my way. I just pull it up the sides out of the middle. But the idea is to be soft with it so you're not getting a like an empty spot in there. Okay. Okay. Right. Uh, did you do a, like that? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. And then also try keeping it from off of here, off the top of it. Now, you can get it on there. But, but <laughs> she tells but, me no. as I get it over <laughs> the top. Well, no. And the reason for it is because when you go to um, release them from the mold, the first time it'll be okay, but the second time, it'll kind of be, um, you might end up getting oh, the top of them good. cracked. Yeah, it's, it's a vanilla smell. It's just, they're all flavored vanilla. No, that smells good. And the inside doesn't matter what the inside looks like because it's what the outside's right, gonna look right, like, you right. know? So we don't care what the inside's gonna look like. Okay. You're fine, I you're doing know, absolutely fine. And then for instance, if you take them out then, and they have any light spots, okay? Like, see, like, I don't know if you can see. I can see the mold at the bottom of my <laughs> right. head. If you can see the mold, then all you want to do is just kind of play around with, because usually you have some extra at the bottom of the mold. So this is where the time-consuming part comes in. I can, okay? okay, I get it, yeah. You know, but it has to be the whole way up on the sides because that's your most important part of these, is what's up on the sides of them. Let me put like a hefty, a healthy teaspoonful in there then there okay all right so then we you're doing absolutely great are we going to actually fill these up we're not filling these all up right we're just well you can do how many ever you want okay and we're going to okay. show how you just take and put them in the fridge okay in the freezer in the freezer yeah they go in the freezer i'm sorry that's okay no they i'm assuming <clears throat> they have to be uh, only only for them. about five minutes oh really yeah they 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 you know do it pretty fast if you don't um if you don't leave them in long enough, what happens is in the bottom is where the majority of your, you know, chocolate will lay, you know, and if you want, you can actually roll it a little bit. Now, since I don't put oil in mine, mine's not rolling very well, but what I do is I'll go like this, and if I see any light spots, then I would just go back with my spoon. I like using the spoon. I just think the back of the spoon works the best, and then you can just kind of pull, you know, if there's nothing that's, if it's not up the sides enough, then I do it up the sides. I don't like to come back and do a second um you know like a second right. freeze it's just taken from my time you know okay no you're doing great okay okay so you want to put them in we'll put them in the freezer okay. but i'm not supposed to have stuff no in that's there. okay if, if it's all <laughs> <laughs> it's and then okay in this side they'll just go in for just a couple maybe like five minutes like okay. i said all right and then we'll close that and then because it's television we only have to wait of course for those to freeze but of course, because Surprise. it's television, voila. <laughs> awesome. Right? So this is what they come out like now. Okay. okay. Can I touch one? Yeah, go ahead. Oh. Yeah. So Exclusive. they have, right. They just, but they're uneven, of course, you know, you know, like look at this one, right? Like it's uneven. So some of these, I had actually made the mistake yesterday. I was playing around and I melted them and used them. And then I was like, no, I did. I emptied them <laughs> just to show. But what the idea next is what we're going to do is we're going to flatten that top. Okay. But we're not going to flatten all of them. We're okay. We're going to flatten part of them. Okay. Because then the other half will get flattened once we actually start putting it together. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to put this on the side. Actually, you know what happened, right? You know, both of those spoons fell in there, right? <laughs> now, this is pretty. This is live pretty TV. Thin. <laughs> but it has to be. It has to be thin. What's that? I said this, these are pretty thin. And remember, keep in mind, they have to be thin. Right, but they have for to the, be for the magic of the bomb to work. Right, right, like, right where the seal <clears throat> is. Okay, that's where. Um, like, you still want it to be a little bit thick up there. And then you're going to have ones that are going to break. And that was part of the reason I said that if you get a lot on here when you're making it, try to wipe it off because as you keep going and filling it, if there's chocolate around here and you put your chocolate up here, when you turn this, you, you'll see, we'll do it. You turn it inside out like this. And when you turn it inside out, 
this chocolate will want to stick oh, to okay. that chocolate so it won't make a clean break. Oh, okay. So then you might get one okay. that would have like a crack like this in it. Like yeah. this one's like savable, okay? But you would have something uh, to that effect. But what I'm going to do is okay. I'm going I'm to heat my plate up. And I use just a regular stainless steel skillet. You can use any kind of skillet. Some people take and nuke the dish in the um, microwave, but I don't think the heat lasts as long. It doesn't okay. hold the heat as long. So I do this, and it's just a matter of literally tapping it to see. You don't want it hot. If it's too, too hot, um, where you can't touch it, then you're gonna scorch the chocolate. Okay. And you actually burn the chocolate, where if you took a paper towel and you went to wipe it out of the skillet, it would actually just be like in a powder form. Okay. Yeah. So then you know that it's too hot. So it's just a matter of getting it hot enough. I'm gonna do like one or two, and okay. then I'm gonna let Marilyn do them. <laughs> Yay! Right. right. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so give me a minute, and then okay. we're gonna fill them. And there's so many options of how to fill. So that's gonna go there. Okay. So now I'm gonna start with the pink ones though, because like I said, I already did some of these. So the idea is to get the whole thing. See how it's uneven? Okay. I don't know if everybody can see it. You're just gonna put it on the skillet, and I actually do it upside down. Oh, well that's easy. So that it makes it flat. So she says. Okay, uh -huh. but if you hold it, it's gonna melt it the whole time. Right. You, know, so you, have, you have a candy real, disc. Real. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I get so, candy somehow. Right. So but you have to just kind of turn it so that you can see okay. that all of it is flat. Okay. okay. And if there's some extra chocolate on it, that's good. Do you want me to keep using, doing the pink or? I'm going to get it just a tad hot for you. You can use whatever ones you want. Okay. Well, I haven't touched that one, so I'll use that one. I touched a bunch of And things. it doesn't take very long to heat it, so okay. I'll swap we'll spots with we'll you. We'll switch spots. Right. So I'm just like that. Just kind of keep it in one spot and turn oh, it. Oh, keep it one spot. And just look at it to make sure that the whole side. Oh, I there see. There you go. Oh, and then yeah, right? see, yeah, okay. <laughs> awesome. What am I putting in this? Okay, Give me another. Well, this is easy. See, folks, <laughs> if I can do it. Yeah, but decorating's coming. Uh. <laughs> and she's decorated <laughs> with me before. <laughs> so that's why she's giggling. Okay, we'll do one chocolate. Now you can tell whenever, oh, I can see, you can tell it's already not it quite as hot, the skillet. You should be able to do usually about <laughs> 15 of them. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. You want to touch it, see if it's hot. <laughs> Hang on. Yeah, touch it to see if it's <laughs> All right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, that's great. That's right. awesome. Okay. That's awesome. Okay. So now we did that. Now you have to leave them cool because okay. you can't fill them right away. Okay. And it's just so that the coolness you know, of just that chocolate melts down because we want it to be a flat sealed edge. But now we're gonna take and see how these have done. Oh, Ooh, that was quick. Yeah, it's not long, it's not long at all. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take it and put your finger just on the bottom of the middle of it okay. and literally just pop it out. But see, so now like, now these aren't completely done because I just put my finger through it. Okay, wait, yours probably aren't done. Here, try one of these. Try one of these. No, 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 I don't know. I might not, I just, we just might not have left it. Just so excited. Yeah, we probably didn't leave them in long enough. Put your finger on the bottom. Oh, there you go. And just pop it up through. Oh. Wait, but see that, but see, had it bleep. But see, this is what happens then. I see. And, you know, and but see. You folks can see. But that's also. I had a little bit on the top. But that's also part of the colored ones. Okay. okay. That's the reds, the pinks, the blues, the greens, the blacks, anything like that you're going to do. Um, you there know. we go. Yeah. But, yeah. If, but if it's not in there long enough, what will happen is, like I'll give you an example. I don't know if this one's going to do it. Well, actually, this one's okay on the outside. But if it's not okay, see how it's still wet on the right. inside? Because that's where most of your chocolate is. It'll still be soft down here. Okay. But, you know, I mean, if for some reason you don't want to put them in the freezer and, you know, you want to, um, Hey, on days like you know, this, just, you just set them on the just, porch. Right. Just because you, <laughs> right. You know, just because you don't have the time or whatever, you um, just come out from or you don't have enough room in your freezer. Yeah. You can actually set them outside or you can, um, oh, I broke that one. you know, you can, you can just leave them on your counter and they'll like harden up, you know, okay. but of course what longer due time, okay. you know, there's oh. a couple, I don't know if they'll come out or not, but. Yeah, they're coming up. There you go. All right. But the you know what, I'm the, mixing the, the, these up with our... No, no, that's okay. The silicone molds are really, really easy to work with. They clean up great. 
There we go. I've only ever used them for candy. I haven't used them for anything else. So, um, but okay. So then right. you, so you get the gist of how that is done with that. Okay. Okay. But now wait, we're going to take the paper towel. Oh. And since we're only melding the chocolate that we're using, it's just, I'm just doing this. And see, that's what I'm saying. If it was too hot, this wouldn't even wipe out of there. It would actually just like crumble out like powder. Okay. It would just, um, okay. you know. But so we're um, going to be using that again. So now this is where your filling comes in. And this is how I fill it. Okay, I don't know if you want to use strawberry. Um, I made opening these? Uh, yeah, you can open them. Um, I made the pink ones I made strawberry. And then the white and the chocolate and the red, I just kind of mixed with... Um, the white chocolate and with the cho regular chocolate mix. Okay. Okay. Um, and you can do a variety. So, for instance, like let's say if you want to do like a cookies and cream. Okay. Okay. You can actually take and use Oreo cookies ground up or whatever. You can melt it in your chocolate. Okay. This is and it does. It just becomes a matter of creativity at this point. You know what you want to do. First of all, you can't hold these very long. Like I'm holding these and I can film already. Starting to melt. Yeah, because, okay. because they're so thin. But what you want to do is if you melted, you know, one half and you know, uh, what'd you do? You melted this one and you melted this one. So you want to do a cookies and cream. You know, when you put them together, you can actually do something like that. You know, putting them together is probably the hardest part of the game. Okay. You know, <laughs> I'm ready for the playing. Okay. Um, so, okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to fill them with our chocolate. Okay. Okay, so that's up to you how you want to do it. Now, I, as far as what kind, um, I'll just start with uh, some of the white. What I normally do is I usually do about a half like this. Okay. I don't know which ones. We didn't do them all. Wait. No, these up here are done. These up here. So, okay, let's get this out of there so we can see. So you put about a... I put about a half in, about a half a teaspoon in like that. Okay. And the only reason for that is because... I'm going to do my marshmallows. Now we do the marshmallows. And you can get dehydrated marshmallows um, off of Amazon. Really? Yeah. They And they're just, they're really, really tiny, you know. It's your, I don't know where you can so reach How many of those about do you put in? Um, you know what? It really just is about a look. Oh, <laughs> is okay. what it is. You know, because you can't force a ton of them in there. Because, like, look, like, that one's a really big one. Okay. Okay. So, of course, you know. I might put in, and then see, that's why I take a look at, uh, you know, what is left as far as space goes. You don't want to do them too full, but then I take more of that now and put it on top. Oh, okay. Okay. Right. And your chocolate will make it creamier, you know? How much? But the idea is try keeping it inside there because you don't want it on the chocolate. Oh, okay. Okay. That's good. Is that good? Yeah. All right. And you can do the other yeah, one. too. Okay. But not on the rim. We want right. to stay away from... Right. You want to stay away from the rim. And the reason is just, that's okay. If you get some water, that's bit. okay. Just wipe it off. Because what it'll do is when you melt your chocolate, you're going to have that grit on there. There you go. So it's going to just kind of be hard to, you know, like fill it up in there. So, okay. So now we're going to put that back on that stove. Okay. I see where we're going. Okay. Oh, right? Okay. <laughs> right? I'm worried already. Right? No, no, no. You're good. But like, for instance, like, let's say, you know, like I make peppermint ones. Okay. Mm -hmm. you can, you're actually going to have to tap, finger tap it. Okay, that's warm. Okay, take it off. <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> okay. now, now, that one's probably, here, I'll give you an example. That's probably a little bit too hot. You can hear it grinding. Oh, okay. You see the difference okay. in the thickness? Okay. It's still melted it, okay? But there, you can almost see, you can actually, you can actually see. <laughs> no, your fan on. <laughs> <laughs> no, you'll see like a little bit of grit to it, okay? Okay. Lord. I guess I'm not sure if it's squeaky clean or just too hot, right? <laughs> but now what we're going to do, the easiest thing to do is bring these closer to you working. Because if not, it makes it harder. So now you're going okay. you to... Yeah, you want to do one first? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let me do one first? Sure, well, it's hey, me. Hey, I, I was going to give you the rain. And what we're going to do is that chocolate that's in that skillet, mm -hmm. we're going to leave it because we're probably going to use it. So you're going to do this with it, and you're going to kind of press it. You're going to bring your finger around it. So, for instance, I don't know if the camera can see it, but there's a little space there's right there. There's a little there. bit, a little bit of space. It's just a tiny little opening, okay? You can see because a little bit came out. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sip that one. Okay. And then when I melt, like, all of my whites, 
because I'm going to have to melt the whites because I need more chocolate in here. Okay. So we'll just do this kind of quick. And I'm guessing then you're going to use this chocolate then to yep. seal. Yep. <laughs> That's what I do. I use that chocolate to seal. You can you can take the chocolate and you can use um you can use like you know put it in a piping bag and pipe it. Yep, go ahead. And they don't have to be perfect. They're not going to be perfect. But the best thing to do is pick that skillet up and then tilt the skillet to get it out. Okay. Yep, it's a two-hand process. And then, yep, and then just take your finger around it, which is probably better than mine. <laughs> I don't, oh, I was going to say, I don't <laughs> have any. I do. Okay. But, but it's, so we're going to just know, set him on the side then because yep. he's going to get. Yep, and then you're okay. going to do the same if you want to take and fill these two up a little bit. Okay. You have to. Well, you can fill oh. up whether you want to put chocolate in them or... I want them just you know? plain. <laughs> <laughs> Get your filler. <laughs> okay, same thing then we're doing? Yep. About that much? Yep. Same and thing. And marshmallows. I see what she's saying. Some of these marshmallows are... At, right. Look, right, look. right. And sometimes, yeah, you'll get like a double one. Some are noticeably know? smaller. I try putting as much as I can in knowing that like after a while, like you work with them, you think, oh, I can put more marshmallows in there because, you know, that's like the favorite of the chocolate marshmallow anyway, you know? He's he's giving Darn. you a sign. Oh oh. <laughs> okay. All right. There we gotta go. have to speed this up here, okay. folks. There you go. <laughs> okay. There you go. All right. Okay. okay. Now what do we do? Okay. So now we have to decorate. But you're probably gonna have to break so I can melt some chocolate. Okay. okay. <laughs> Stay with us. Okay, we're back, <laughs> and we are going to do the end here. Um, we can decorate these. Look how lovely she decorated a whole bunch of. They can be decorated any way you right. like. Um, she melted some chocolate for us here, and this is just a pastry bag. Yep, just a regular okay. pastry bag. Whoops, whoops. Now what I'm going to yep. do is, right? Yep. Oh, look at that. <laughs> now, do I actually go the whole way? That's like... up to you. You okay. can do. You can do it like that. You can do circles. You can do whatever you want. Okay. But when you put the thin layers like that on, you can't do too many at a time. Okay, am I screaming up? You know, no, 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 no. I mean, you can't do too many bombs at a time because then your chocolate, with it being so thin, it'll dry. Oh, okay. You know? And so you yeah. can do anything you want. Right. That's right. You can do anything you want. You know, people take and make um, just all different kinds, you know, Christmas time. See, that's why I was so you know, surprised. I, I did some snowman ones, you know, they look like snowmen and stuff, and... Um, and Cheryl, while I'm finishing up here, Cheryl actually sells these. You want to tell yep. the folks how they can get in yep. touch with you? you good. You can do that. Am I just putting yep. them on? You, you can put, just put them in your hand. It's okay. the easiest okay. to do. And then just sprinkle them on. Okay. Um, you can get in touch with me on my Facebook page, um, just Cheryl Begonia. Or either you could do Cupcake Crazy Bakery and More page. Um, just private message me, and um, we'll go from there. She if anyone is. interested, I'm actually going to be um, on February 13th. You can do pre-orders. Um, I'm going to look how beautiful. See, look how nice. <laughs> and then now, well, wait. I guess I'll let me break. Okay. <laughs> we're we're going to take and put these. We're actually going to uh, put these in our yes, glasses. Yes, we're going to see how these actually how these work, actually so you folks can see. Okay. But now, do you actually want to do one of these, or do we want to do one that's already made up? Let's do one that's already. Okay. And the only reason for that is because that chocolate. I was going to say it's still a little it's bit still okay. wet. Okay. So I don't know what color Surprise do you want. Does me. it matter? No. Okay. Here, you pick your own. Okay. I'll pick a chocolate one. Oh, <laughs> you can great do whatever minds. you want. Great minds. There we go. Okay. <laughs> you can do whatever you want. Okay, so but, you just take your ball then, or bomb. Yeah, take the bomb, and you put this in the glass first. Okay. Okay, you, don't, you do not drop this into hot milk. Oh, you put it okay. in the glass first. Okay. Okay, and then there's your milk, and it's eight ounces of milk. Eight ounces the of milk? The ball was made okay. for eight ounces of milk. Okay. You, like, you can use ten if you don't want it as strong. But I recommend eight ounces of milk. And, and Cheryl and, microwaved this. Right, I did. <clears throat> I nuked the milk. And what you're going to do, you can have yours. Okay. And you're just going to pour it over top. Okay. And you're going to pour it slow because that's the magic of it, right? And then it's going to start rolling and lifting. And then boom, look. <sighs> <laughs> There's your bomb. <laughs> that's awesome. Right? So there's your eight ounces of milk, and people think that eight ounces isn't very much, you know? Let's see. Yeah. See, it broke apart, and then your chocolate's in there. So now you want to take and stir it up, because you have your chocolate candy. Oh. See, that's going to help darken your, you know, chocolate, whether it's white chocolate, whether it's dark. So 
So evidently you had a white chocolate one. How fun is this? And because I'm the marshmallow lover, <laughs> that's <Yeah>. mine. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is another fun thing, folks, because uh, there again, no rhyme or reason. Kind of do right. whatever you want to do. Right. It, you can't. Uh, I make um, I make peppermint ones. I make strawberry chocolate. I make raspberry chocolate. Mm. Um, I do a lot with the flavors. Um, I did Andy's candies. They were an extremely big hit. The Andy's mints. Um, but you know, you can do whatever you want with them. You know, any anything as long as it's meltable, it's going to go in there and it's going to melt. You know, so. Watch, can we do like peanut really butter or something? Or I'm what? actually going to make peanut butter ones. I'm going to do the chocolate. I'm going to put the peanut butter in the chocolate okay. is what I'm going to do. Um, and Let's that, that way it'll melt into it and it'll kind of be like a peanut butter melt away. take a sip of this before we... Right? <laughs> we going to taste it? Oh it's like my. just like the right amount oh, of chocolate too. Oh, that is too. so good. You know? It is. It's just like mm. the right amount of chocolate. Well, you know? It's not overkill and... Well, you Cheryl, know. thank you. Hey, this thanks is for coming. Delicious. Thanks for my wonderful yeah, There we go. There we go. <laughs> She's going to get bombed now. Right. We got bombed. Thank you for joining That's us. That's right. We got bombed. Um, but this was a lot of fun. As you folks see, this is, it's, it's time consuming, but it's easy. And right. if you don't want to do it, Cheryl gave us her information. You can That's always right. get in touch with Cheryl. And she right. and I are going to finish enjoying these. So That's you right. want to say good, good, goodbye okay. to the folks with me? Okay. okay. Wait, wait, cheat wait, wait. I do. I have a cheat sheet. <laughs> <laughs> my glasses well, are more too. Well, folks, we will help. Okay. We hope you enjoyed the show. We had fun as usual. Yes, we did. And remember, always keep, keep smiling, keep dreaming, and keep watching. <laughs>